Hi guys, Dr. Maddie here. Um, I just wanted to put out a quick video today um, about Christian Eriksen. He's one of the um, Danish footballers um, who today collapsed in a competitive match between Finland and Denmark. Um, now, this case is really close to home. I've got a brother who's got a heart condition and um, just seeing this was deeply distressing. Um, now, I understand that he's currently stable and he's in hospital undergoing further investigations. Um, but my understanding of what happened was that um, during the match in the first half, he suddenly just collapsed uh, uh, on the pitch. Uh, and thankfully, due to prompt action from the referee and other players, they got the medics onto the team um, and uh, from the reports that I've seen, they had to start CPR. Um, as I say, very distressing scenes for everyone to witness, whether that's uh, Ericsson's family, the, the players on the pitch and all the fans around as well. Um, now, fortunately, some photos have come out showing that when he was being whisked off of the pitch to the hospital, that he was conscious, which is really reassuring. Um, because, you know, we all assume the worst when we see someone collapse like this. It's very reminiscent of what happened to Fabrice Moamba back in 2012. And, and you know, there's going to be a lot of speculation as to what could possibly have contributed to this. But, you know, in an otherwise fit athlete uh, uh, who's at the top of his game, um, you, you know, we would be thinking about things like Hukum, which is the condition that affected Fabrice uh, Moamba. Now, what Hukum is, if we break it down, it's an abbreviation for a uh, disease of the heart called hypertrophic uh, obstructive cardiomyopathy. Now, breaking this term down, we've got hypertrophic, which means uh, an enlargement, and this is referring to the heart muscle. So we have an abnormal enlargement of the heart muscle uh, in these athletes. Obstructive, referring to the obstruction of blood flow both into and out of the heart, um, which can lead to a collapse. Um, and then cardiomyopathy, the last word, um, basically meaning uh, a disease of the heart. So what we have here bringing those together is an abnormal enlargement of the heart that leads to a restriction in blood flow both into the heart and out of it. Uh, and unfortunately, this is a chronic disease, which is to say that once you've got it, you've got it for life. Now, the really devastating thing about this condition is that you could be walking around with it and you wouldn't even know. Um, often it doesn't give rise to many symptoms, and if it does, they tend to be pretty serious. So if you're lucky, you'd present with some shortness of breath or chest pain. Now, if you're more unlucky, your first symptom that you could present with is a collapse and death. And um, this is one of the really devastating aspects of this disease is that um, it, it, it's one of the biggest causes of sudden cardiac death in young people. Now, news reports have said that the medics who went out to Ericsson had to perform CPR, which means that his heart had stopped as a result of this condition. And fortunately, they were able to bring him back with some basic life support. Now, I don't know if they had to use a defibrillator in this instance, but in some cases they do need to use that. Now that Ericsson is in the hospital and stable, I would expect that he would be getting some uh, observation on the ward as well as some investigation. So things like an ECG to see the rhythm of his heart and they do some blood tests as well um, to see if there were any sort of biochemical causes in his blood. Uh, and then you'd also expect for him to get an ultrasound or an echo of the heart to have a look at the underlying structure of the heart to make sure he wasn't born with a congenital heart problem or that there wasn't something else that was the cause. Additionally, if he is diagnosed as having this Hockham then um, it would be really important that his siblings and family members got tested as well because we know that this is an inherited condition uh, that can affect family members. Um, and the sooner we get the ball rolling with investigating family members, the sooner we can identify it and treat it uh, if we need to. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some links down in the description um, for a refresher on how to perform basic life support and CPR. And I'll also leave a uh, link to a website that gives a bit more detail um, describing Hockham at the symptoms, investigations and how it is managed. And I'd also like to take this opportunity to uh, show appreciation towards the medical team uh, who were there on the pitch and helped to resuscitate 
uh, Ericsson and get him promptly to the hospital for further stabilization. Now, out of my own interest, I will be following the case of Ericsson and I will also be posting some updates in my community post if anyone else is interested. And of course, my best wishes go out to uh, Ericsson and his family and I wish him a speedy recovery. Um, if anyone has been affected by this or has any questions, please leave those down in the comments. But otherwise, the link stat will be down below in the description. All right. Thanks, guys.